In the age of the, the Internet economy now, we have different business models that are challenging old notions of what's viewed as anti-competitive behavior. Um, in antitrust cases, you, of course, need to define the market you're dealing with before you can start to consider whether a company might be violating antitrust laws with respect to that market. Um, but Internet companies today are engaging with consumers through many different market channels and constantly testing and evolving new services for their users. Um, companies that didn't compete before now are, are competing in different ways. Um, could you each outline for me kind of how your teams are adapting to what might be called an increasingly amorphous market marketplace and what challenges you see in carrying out your missions going forward given these changes? We can start with you, Mr. Baer, Attorney General Baer. Thank you. Um, the antitrust laws, as Chairwoman Ramirez said a second ago, are, are flexible enough that we, can, we feel confident we can apply those basic standards to emerging technologies, and, and we do. Uh, uh, we have workshops to study. We have, we have brought in people with expertise, high-tech expertise. Even though things are fast changing, there still is the ability of companies to become near monopolists, to, uh, uh, to enter into acquisitions which injure consumers. Most recently, we brought a case in which two firms, a criminal case, where two firms conspired to uh, adopt the same algorithm. So when someone goes on Amazon search to look for a, uh, for a price for this product, the price would pop up at exactly the same. It was price fixing through algorithm on the Internet. So we are alert to, vigilant uh, in, in pursuing behaviors, whether they're online or in a smokestack industry, that have the potential to, to injure consumers. Chair I concur um, with, with the views that have been articulated. I, mean, I also agree that the flexible principles that we have, I think, can be applied to today's dynamic markets. I think the challenge lies in our ability to um, conduct thorough investigations as efficiently as possible so that um, if action is needed, we can take appropriate action in, in a time that, that makes sense. Even right? when we have companies that might have very different business models may eventually be competing in the same marketplace, but in very, very different ways, you still are able to... I believe that still we still have an ability to monitor the, these new dynamic marketplaces. Um, again, the challenge becomes in how quickly we can take action while at the same time ensuring that we provide appropriate process and be as thorough as, as we need to be. But in my mind, um, we can certainly be, be effective, notwithstanding the dynamic nature of the markets. Um, Attorney General Baer, I wanted to ask you if you might comment on um, the antitrust division's early recognition of the pro-competitive benefits of ensuring availability of low frequency, frequency spectrum for smaller providers and, um, and you know, kind of what's your position relative to the FCC and what they've been um, focused on recently? The FCC has an active rulemaking or proceeding going on to allocate this high value, low frequency spectrum to wireless carriers. We have filed comments on the public record suggesting that one of the factors the FCC appropriately should take into account is the impact on competition in local markets, that no one or two wireless carriers should be able to get to the position where they dominate uh, uh, wireless availability in a local area and effectively make it impossible for smaller carriers to compete. So we are supportive of a level playing field and appropriate guidance to the potential bidders for that high value, high value uh, frequency to make sure that we aren't creating any trust problems over the long run that will will have your constituents um, and uh, uh, and others around the country paying more for wireless service than they would if the market were more competitive. Thank you very much, um, and thank you, Mr. Chair. I yield back. Thank you. I'm going to squeeze uh, Mr. Ice in for questions.